There was a zombie invasion in San Diego this Halloween night, and they were invited. The 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals how a gruesome exercise could end up bolstering the country's defense. Call it disaster training with a dose of the undead. Amid a hail of gunfire, zombies mobbed a third world village. And in the middle of the chaos, a top official with an aid organization surrounded by security detail. Dozens of military, law enforcement, first responders, and actors battled against the so-called zombie apocalypse, part of a five-day counterterrorism summit organized by Halo Corporation. The zombies were make-believe. Fighting the zombies was fun. I mean, it was get out and play a little bit, shooting blanks. I mean, it's, I don't have to clean the guns, so it was, uh, it was a good time. But the action was backed by Hollywood sets and special effects. Yeah, I almost had to change my underwear. It was pretty intense. In the scenario, the VIP and his security detail are trapped in a village overrun by zombies. When a bomb explodes, the aid official maneuvers through the town. Some of his detail are bitten and must be taken to a medical facility for treatment. Organizers chose the zombie theme because the unpredictability of zombies compares to real dangers like an out-of-control enemy. Also, the dreaded zombie bites can help train for a chemical warfare attack. Another parallel? The carnage of a zombie apocalypse compared to the panic of some worldwide disaster. Because it's a, a mass uh, type of casualty, there can be mass hysteria. So in what better way to show that? And what a show it was, an exercise alive with Halloween magic and an army of the walking dead. Michael Chen, 10 News. A wild day. Recently, the Homeland Security Department and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention also launched zombie campaigns to bring awareness to emergency preparedness.